We're going to talk about defrizzing, detangling, reviving, and restoring your wig or your hairpiece today on Silver Linings. Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by to see me today. I'm Angela, the creator of this channel, Silver Linings, and I hope that this past week you were able to find and enjoy some of the silver linings of life. Do you have a wig or a hair piece or any alternative hair that's become frizzy and knotted and just doesn't look good anymore and you're thinking about throwing it out? Well, before you do that, take a look at what I've collected here today and see if it might help you. You know, I really mean what I say when at the end of my video I ask you what are your silver lining moments? How do you feel when you read a great inspirational story? Doesn't it just kind of lift your spirits for a moment in time, maybe a day or an hour? I'm sure that there are people here on this channel that would love to that would love to hear your silver lining moments. And so I'm asking please would you share in the comments section below? a line or a paragraph tell us what a silver lining moment was for you this week and why and i'm sure that that would be an encouragement for those who read your comments below all right well now let's get on with what i wanted to share with you today but i wanted to show you what i've been working on this past week i'm always working on something but i had um, if you follow me you know that I absolutely love this. Let me share my screen with you. I absolutely love this Headband Fall Straight by Toni Bratton. She has another one like it. It's curly. But this particular one is straight. I'm partial to straight hair. And it was actually my very first piece that I ever ordered, I think, five, six, maybe seven years ago. And I wore it to death. Well, now I'm on my, I think I said in my article, which I'll show you in a moment, I'm on fall number three. And this is really my go-to. I've made two videos about this now. And by the way, Tony Bratton, I'm not an affiliate of Tony Bratton's. I receive no commission for any of this, but I like to tell my viewers because it's such a blessing to me. And you can see all the colors that this headband comes in. The one that I uh, always order is this one right here, the light gray. See my mouse moving in the right hand side and there's another color in the gray family that's a salt and pepper. My hair's much too white to get away with the salt and pepper now. And then they have a platinum blonde but that's going to have a lot of yellow in it. But for those of you who are transitioning, this is just a wonderful, wonderful product. So what I did um, yesterday was I posted a pretty extensive blog about how to soften synthetic wigs because the very first Tony Bratton uh, fall that I had has become very ratty. I was just about ready to throw it out and I had purchased a second one and that one I wore out as well and I just wanted to see if I could soften it to the point where I would wear it again. Um, so this is not just for Tony Bratton Falls. This is for any wig that you have that has synthetic hair. That is the focus of this particular blog that I have right here at this page. And I will uh, drop a link down below so that if you want to read this, you can, you can go ahead and, and visit that page. But how to soften a synthetic wig. I tried it once before. I tried steaming. I tried ironing. I wanted to try something different. I went out to the web and I researched and I read articles and I watched videos and put all that information for you here on my own website. So again, for the purposes of this video, I will be restoring, restoring reviving Tony Bratton's uh, fall. Now, let me just reach over here and show you what I did. Okay, here is the fall. She's attached to a hook. I'll explain in a moment. Here's the fall. She has been cleaned. I talk about that in my article, what I did for the cleaning process, um, which in this case, I did not use a wig shampoo. Again, I talk about that in my article. I decided to do a pre-wash 
with baking soda. Yes, baking soda. And before I put her in the bath, she had an, she had a wig. She had a hairband attached. It's attached with Velcro. So I simply removed the wig from the Velcro. And then as again, as I say in the article, I just filled a basin with cold water and swished about oh three quarters of a cup of baking soda in that water swished the wig around and I left it there for four hours then after the four hours I came back and I did the following process so now I have this product which I read about I had never heard about this product this product ostensibly you can use it for real hair real human hair or wigs and there were so many comments on this product about how they restored a wig and I think the reason that is is because it contains a silicon a silicone or silicon silicon mix that's going to absorb into those fibers and just treat the fibers and make them soft again so after I soaked her in the baking soda for four hours, I rinsed and rinsed and rinsed very well. And then I applied a whole bunch of this, probably a good three tablespoons. And I'm telling you, it smells, it smells wonderful. It's not offensive, it's not too strong, but it has a very beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So I left the silicone on for about five minutes and then came back and rinsed and rinsed and rinsed again. Then I put the wig on a hook specially made for the shower. If you don't have one of these, they're, they're in my Amazon store. Drop the link below. Um, this was kind of expensive. I bought this one a few months ago. Well, now I found out I could get like eight or nine of them for what I paid for this one. But in any case, I just hang it from the shower and let it dry overnight. Okay, so she hasn't been combed out or anything yet. So that's what I'm going to do right now on camera in front of you. So you're going to take your, your wide tooth comb. And in a moment, I'm going to show you a brand new fall that I haven't even opened yet. So now you can see that all I'm doing is just combing. There are no tangles. no tangles at all. The hair feels soft. You could see that, that the comb is not it's not stuck in the middle of the hair. Of course the cap I just rinsed off very well. I did not condition the cap. So here it is very flowy it wasn't like that at all the the fibers were stuck together I should have come on camera and showed it to you before I washed it but I can show you another one that looks almost like it my very first one alright so now the fibers have been combed out and now I put the wig ca uh, the uh, the hairband right back on. Just attach it to the Velcro. And then what I do, you've seen me do this before if you follow me. I'm telling you I love this thing. I love this thing. So now you're just going to take your hair how I do it. I comb my hair. I comb my bangs down. So if you, you can bring your hair right from the back, you know, a lot of us are, spar are sparse right there, but you can bring your hair back down, and then I just go like this. Sometimes I leave all the bangs out, it just depends. And then I just go like that, put my hair behind my ear. It doesn't even matter if the top is smooth. And then just kind of keep your hair like that. And then you're just going to flip it back. 
there is a little comb inside there. Sometimes I'll, I'll use that comb, sometimes I won't. It just depends on where I'm going. And then you're just going to comb her in place. I bring everything forward. See, there's my bangs. So I could tuck those bangs in there, or I could, I could bring the bang out. And she is really, I'm telling you, she's restored. She was gummy. And I will also say that in another video, uh, you can find it in my feed below, I had used, I did a, a versus video. I did washing with, wig, washing with wig shampoo versus washing with downy. I had washed this piece in downy and it came out feeling very gummy and I was not happy. I was happy with, with, the, with the piece that I used, which I think was Shakerado. And I used um, I used wig shampoo and wig conditioner on that. So I do think that a case could be made for just use a shampoo and a conditioner made for wigs. Why? Because other things could have, and this is what I read when I was studying, other products are not formulated for synthetic fibers. So there could be some chemicals that lay on the fiber there. This is something that not everybody agrees on. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Some people love to use, let's say, downy fabric softener. I even read that some people use laundry detergent. And I talk about that a little bit in, in my article that's attached. So, but here she is. Uh, I am happy with this. She's flowy. She feels light she's swinging she wasn't doing that before she's a little bit too long she needs to be she needs to be trimmed because my hair is not as long okay now let's take now that I've showed you that let's look at the very first Tony Bratton fall that I had now first of all Tony Bratton, she used to put three combs in the wig cap, which I actually love. Now they, she, she only has like a skimpy little little comb right up at the center there. It doesn't really hold much of anything. It's, it's useless. Um, but here's the way it used to look. And one time I forgot to take the wig cap, the uh, band off, and look what happened. I ruined it. I haven't thrown it out because I'm going to take some shoe polish and restore that. Here's how the piece looks. And this is about Again, I can't remember when I bought it. At least five years old. At least five years old. She's still pretty swingy, but she just, if you could see her in person, she just doesn't have that vibrancy to her. Now let's look. So I will restore this one at some point. Maybe I'll do a short video and show you between the three of them how they look. Now here is a brand new Tony Bratton fall. I, I always keep one <laughs> just in case because a lot of times they sell out and you can't get one for months. So here she is. She comes with a little card like this. She comes in a plastic bag so I didn't want to take your time by having the plastic bag. And then she comes with two headbands. A brown headband and a black headband which is very nice. I never use the brown because I'm not, I don't really like brown. It doesn't do me any justice. So here is how it looks right out of the bag. And you can see there's that silly little comb. I don't know what that comb's doing. And let's look at something else. It looks like that cap is different too from the original. Maybe not. No, it's not. Okay. So. Here it is. It feels very silky. Very silky. Now let me feel this. I would say this hair feels maybe 
70% as silky. I'm wondering if I should have given it two more rinses to take this product out. And I'm going to try to do that. So again, I'm going to follow this up with a short, a short, short video and let you know what happened after I rinsed it out for, for four or five times. Maybe I didn't rinse enough of this out. Um, and we'll see. So here's how so here's how it looks. You can see she really needs to be on a wig head just to get rid of the box hair. And also the thing that Tony did, here's my original, here's my original wig. You can see that the new wig, which is on my right, your left, the new wig is considerably longer. You see, I'm holding them right up together. You see that? So the new wig is longer. I actually liked the shorter version better, just for me, because of the length of my hair. So now we're just going to give this a quick brush. Very silky, very lightweight, not tangled at all. Still got her tag. Okay, so let me remove this one and let's hold them up side by side. Okay. So here's the one that I washed. She does feel pretty silky. Is she as silky as then? Here's the new one. And here is, in my left hand, here's the one that I restored. Here's the new one. Here's the new one. Here's the one that I restored. This is the new one right here. This is the one that I restored. Okay, so what is my verdict? First of all, I think that this product, I'm going to put this new one on. Okay, so I've just put I just put the new the brand new one on that I showed you and they're very close. They're very very close in terms of how they feel, the silkiness of them. Um you can see that I would need a trim here because my hair is quite well, it's it's quite a bit shorter, but even if I didn't want to, I can just throw this on and and I love it. I just love it. And as I said, they do it, it does come in a curly version as well. Here is a review that I did of this Tony Bratton piece. And you can just go to go to my go to my channel and look in the videos column. See the see my mouse? Click on that video tab and you could always find it there and then there's another one that I did that's how much I, I think I've done three or four reviews on this so but what you can do is if you're looking here's a tech tip for you if you're looking for a particular video and you're pretty sure it's on somebody's channel you just go up to the video tab come right underneath the header look for the video tab and then come on over here where you see the little magnifying glass. Now sometimes you can't sometimes you can't see that magnifying glass. So just you just keep clicking like let's say you could just see the about. 
the about word. Just keep clicking to the right of about and eventually you'll see that that search button. So just click in there and type in Tony I know I'm squinting but I don't want you to have to deal with the glare. Tony Bratton and let's see what comes up. And there. This one I did and this one I did. And I think there's a bunch of other pieces. There's, there's another one. There's a bunch of them. So I I think that if you pick this up, if you've got longish hair and uh, you like that look, you can always pull it back. I talk about that, that in these videos. It's a great piece to add to your collection. Here is that product. It's in my Amazon store. It can also be used for human hair. I'll be talking about that. I'm sure I'll make a short on this particular product. Just a little reminder about my website, Angela Silver Linings. When you hit the site, uh, the first page you'll see are all of my blog posts. This is in the, in the process of being redesigned, so it's always best to go right up here at the top where you can see pretty much all the content on the site. So if you want to shop for gently used wigs, you're going to click right on the shop tab up here. And that page is updated pretty often uh, as I sell them, as I add new wigs. Just scroll down. It tells you how to get them, what to do, what's for sale, etc. And then also, <clears throat> excuse me, I have begun to uh, build out a part of my site um, talking about gray wig finds. Again, if you follow me, you know I used to do this as a, an extra video, but now I'm housing them all together right here. So I have all the different brands that I'll be adding wigs to, and these wigs or pieces, whatever you want to call it, are only in the silver gray white family. So for instance, Beltress Dagona, here are all the colors that Beltress's Dagona comes in. Ellen is, here's all her colors for Risk Petite, Aesthetica, Mellow, and sky and you can scroll down and you can see so this page will continue to be built out over the next months years it should be quite a wonderful resource for all of us just to quickly go and see if your style comes in silver gray or white well before I close out the video I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today this is a recent find for me now I don't have a way to show you all the way down to the floor so I'll just show you what I have here. So this is a caftan by Miss Lavish of London. It goes all the way down to the floor. And what I love about it, ladies, it has pockets. And the pockets are deep enough to house my cell phone. Goes right in there. The other pocket goes my lip gloss. Or whatever I need to put in there and I is lavish just... because a lot of other caftan makers don't have pockets and I don't know about you but when I come home at the end of the day I don't want any elastic on me I just want to be cool comfortable this is very lightweight very very flowy wears well washes well goes all the way down to the floor and the best part comes in small medium large, extra large, extra extra large. Let me share my screen with you and it comes in all kinds of prints. Now I don't know whether this one that I have that I'm showing you right here which is the one that I have on will be available at the time you see it but there's all kinds of others just like everything with Amazon they have 5,000 choices. I kinda like this one here that's a pretty one but look Select small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large with pockets. Small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large. And it even comes, some of them they still have 3X. Let's look at this one here. This kind of beigey one, extra X. Well, just like everything. You, ha you just have to get over there when they bring out a new product. But Miss Lavish really does a great job. Pockets multiple sizes, nice price point. It's $19.99 to $21.99. Throw it on when you come home from work, the grocery store, you're out, whatever. 
and you're done and you look presentable you can go to the door you can go to the mailbox but you could even entertain your friends and be covered and look pretty and be dressed thank you miss lavish from london thank you so much for visiting with me today i know that your time is precious and i am so thankful that you're spending some of it with me i hope that this week you can look for and experience some of the silver linings of life and if you do that you'll share your experience with us in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week. Bye-bye.